and once the drone is fully unfolded, the size becomes even more obvious. To really put it into perspective, let's compare it with the older models. Here it is side by side with the Mavic 3. Notice how much smaller the Mavic 3's body and especially its gimbal are. The new propellers are also huge in comparison. And like those old PC cases from decades ago, it seems the DJI gray plastic on older units tends to turn yellowish over time. Now looking at the Mavic 2 Pro from 2018, the body shows even more aging and wear. See how far DJI has come in terms of build and size. As for the remote controller, since I got the base package, it came with the standard RC2. I may eventually upgrade to the Pro Controller just like I did with the Mavic 3. At first glance, the new RC2 looks nearly identical to the older version, except for the external antennas. Hopefully, these antennas improve the signal because my previous controller constantly dropped connection around tall buildings, forcing me to buy the Pro Remote. This is the Pro version that I had to get. Too bad I can't use it for the Mavic 4. If the RC2 doesn't perform better, I may have to purchase the RC Pro 2, but again, it has external antennas, so I'm hoping it will be better. Now let's see the battery. Thankfully, DJI stuck with the rear loading battery design, which I think is much safer than the old top loading style. When compared to the Mavic 3 battery, the physical size looks almost the same. The Mavic 4's battery is rated at 6,600 milliampere hours, while the older one was 5,000 milliampere hours. That doesn't sound like a massive increase, especially when you consider that the drone itself is larger and heavier. Before setting up the drone for its first flight, let me quickly recap and show what's included. The drone body with the battery, the RC2 controller, charger, propellers, cables, plugs, and the usual accessories. Okay, let's set it up. 